I will be doing some Easter decor for today. I'm going to be doing coffee filter lilies for Easter. I also will be making my own vase out of some wood pieces that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're gonna be pretty quick. I'm not gonna to try to do a dragged out long video this time, which I'm trying to keep all of my videos pretty short. Okay, so guys, what I'll be doing is I'm gonna be using these blocks, which I'm only gonna use maybe the big piece of it. This is gonna be the bottom part, which is pretty basic and simple and easy and cut and dry. Also, I got these wood planks from the Dollar Tree. So I'm basically going to be standing them up and around to form my vase. And then I will be decorating them. I got some, I know you guys saw the other vase that I did. If you didn't, I did another vase. It has the beading on it but I actually did it on a glass vase. This time, I wanted my vase to be taller than that one, so that is the reason why I chose Optic to do it this way. So I'm going to be basically taking these beads and I'm going to decorate my vase with it and I'll probably paint it. Also, I do have my coffee filter, my coffee filters that I dyed before, I never used them. I'm thinking about maybe going a little darker on the leaves, so I got some more green paint. So I'm gonna go a little darker on it because I really want my leaves to be a little darker than this. Also, I'm going to be using Q-tips to make the stem, not the stem part, but the inside of the lilies. I am basically making Easter lilies, so those are my things that I'm going to be using. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be making is I'm going to be making a vase. So the things that I'm going to be using is some wood glue, some wood planks from the Dollar Tree. Everything that I have is up here is from the Dollar Tree, a wooden box, and also these beads. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to make my vase and we'll see how that turns out, guys, okay? Okay, there it is. All right, everybody. So here is my vase and um, I'm really, really loving it. It's still a little bit wet, so I'm not gonna touch the outside of it. So I've added some bling wrap like around the top of it, just to give it a little bit of a definition. So I don't know, it kind of looks like something. I don't know what it looks like, but <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so yes, this is gonna be my flower vase. Now, if you attempt to use this method I got to tell you, I almost went through two cans of paints doing this. I did use the primer, the paint, it's white paint with the primer in it. And I went over that first and it kept soaking through, soaking through, it kept doing it. I never had that problem before. I don't know if it was because I worked with the wood versus the glass, because when I did it on the glass, I didn't have, I didn't have a problem at all with it, but working with the wood, it was a little bit, it was a problem. So I put probably about three or four coats of white paint on it. So this thing is pretty heavy. It's, it's not heavy, heavy, but it's kind of solid. So I put about three coats of the white paint. And when it kept soaking through on the beads, I decided, okay, let me try something darker. So I went with the silver because I felt like I could put it on my, my silver wall back here. That's the wall where I did all the plate, the charger plates and silver. I decided that I would set it up there on the table. I would leave it there for the rest of the spring. 
So now guys, I'm gonna let it dry. Once it dries, I'm gonna end the process of going ahead and working on the Easter lilies. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. And um, from there, I will put them in the vase and display. For this portion of the DIY, you're gonna need a paintbrush, a paint palette, a glue gun and glue, tape, green and yellow acrylic paint, and shears, scissors. Okay, so for this DIY, what, you're, what we're going to be making is the inside of the lily, the inside of the lily, which will call for at least 28 cotton swabs. Okay, all right, let's get to it. Okay guys, okay, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how I make the Easter lilies. So it's as simple as this. You know I use my filters. I'm not gonna be doing any folding. I have pre-cut already a leaf of a lily. So what I'm gonna do is, because I'm gonna be needing it for more, I'm just gonna do more, but you need six. So what I'm going to do you're gonna need six of these to do one, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just place it on here and just copy, mimic what I've already cut. I mean, you can go online and Google it and see how to make a, a lily leaf. There's so many different variations of them. So, just do the best that you can. You know, you can print it off, trace it, do, you know, just do the best that you can as far as drawing the leaf. Now, my lilies are gonna be white because they are Easter lilies. You're gonna take three each, okay? So this is for one side, and then you're gonna take another three, which is a total of six, okay? So you have six, all right? So what you're gonna do is you take them, kind of straighten them up some because the leaves are pretty much straight. And then you're gonna bend, you're gonna fold it. Like just fold it in half like this. Like this. Put that crease in there. Okay. All right, so what you're gonna do is pretty simple, really simple and easy. So you take the three, you're gonna put the glue on the bottom, then you're gonna put it right on the top, on the tip, and you're gonna stay right on the bottom. Okay, then you're gonna put the glue on the bottom here and you're gonna take and put right in the middle on top, and you're only gonna glue there. Now, it's stuck to the table, huh? All right, so we're gonna do the next. That's three, you're gonna put that aside, and we're gonna do this one, the same. Okay, you're gonna take, put it on the tip, the glue on the tip, 
and you will take one of the leaves and put it here. I'm having to pull hard because the glue is sticking all over the place. I just got glue strings everywhere. Okay, then you're gonna put it on the tip here. And that's for me doing that base earlier, just glue. Then you're gonna put on top. So you're gonna have two, just like this. Just like this. So what you're gonna do is remember when we made these, okay? We made these, I showed you how to make these at the beginning of this video. And I basically cut Q-tips. You have six, this is gonna be the inside of the lily and you're gonna make sure you cut the bottom part off. All right, so what you do is you take this and you put glue here, and then you're basically going to lay it down on top. It's sticking already so that it can glue in place. Put it across the top, and then you're gonna bring only the bottom, only the bottom, don't go up towards the top. And then you're gonna put a little more glue, and then you're gonna bring over. Only the bottom, okay? Now this, you're gonna put glue on this one and you're just basically going to apply it across the top and you bring it together. So that's pretty much it. And you're gonna fold them back. Just fold the, fold the um, layers back until you get to the inner side. And you can bring it up just a little bit more and it looks like this, okay? So what I, what I have is some diluted green paint with water and I'm basically going like right on the inside around the rim of it so it can have that ombre effect, okay? So I have it like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue the pieces up together, so. And like before, when I did the roses, you're gonna basically take your pen, pencil, or whatever you use, and you're gonna bend the leaves back just a little bit. Not You're not gonna roll them all the way, you're just gonna bend it just a little bit on the tips. Kinda like, just bend like that. Okay, and you're gonna do that all the, all the way around. I need a pencil or something, but I'll do that in one moment, just a moment. I'm just trying to finish sealing it up. You're gonna squeeze the bottom of it because we do have to insert the stem. And you're just gonna put glue where you think you need to put it so it can lay right. And that's pretty much it. This one is pretty simple. It's a plain flower. I think the meaning behind it is more significant than anything, but it's a, just a plain flower. So really. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I am going to take pull it out. Remember this, guys? It's so thin you can barely see it. So this is basically um, some wiring that I got for flower arrangements, floral arrangements. I'm going to bend it just to give it a little bit more um, stability so it can be a little bit more sturdy. Okay. And then I'm going to put glue on the bottom of the flower. And I'll fix it up a little bit more once I get the other part on it. But it's pretty much done. That's the gist of it. So I'm going to take this and I will insert it inside. Squeeze it. Okay, so put a little bit more glue on the bottom. And what I'm doing is I'm taking little pieces from where I cut the um, pieces of paper from where I cut the flower originally. And I am going to just wrap it around the bottom of it. Now, once you wrap it around the bottom, you can go ahead and just paint it. You can paint it green or whatever color you want to. I'm wrapping mine, but I'm also putting tape 
um, floral tape on it because I like the dark green that the tape is. And um, I got lucky when I painted the leaves and they match the floral tape. So that was what I was looking for and it worked. Okay, I have an ink pen right here, so I'm just gonna bend these tips back some. Got them looking like pond setters. Pond setters or whatever, however you say it, pond setters. All right, so let me put the um, tape on. I really like colored flowers, but this one is gonna be white because I am making white Easter lilies. Um, but I prefer flowers that have more color to them. I don't know, they just are more <clears throat> defined to me. So I don't know. You can do what you want. I mean, you can paint it. So this is going to have kind of a hint of yellow and green to them. That's what I'm going for. Turn the camera up some. There. There she is. So. So guys, so how many people... For the ones that celebrate Easter, how many people are coloring eggs either for your kids or yourselves? I am coloring eggs for myself because I just think that they taste good, you know, even though it's just an egg. I think they taste better when they've been colored. I don't know why, but I've always thought that for some reason I could eat Easter eggs, but I really didn't like eggs when I was very, very, very young. I didn't like them. I didn't care for them. This is an Easter lily, white as snow. What's your Easter message? I'd like to know. I keep thinking about that. <laughs> that little um, Easter speech from, from church. Okay. So um, my base is pretty tall, but it's not clear. And I really want you to see the leaves in it. So I'm putting my leaves up a little high so you guys can see them. And so I can see them when I display them in the vase. So here is the Easter lily, guys. Here it is. Okay, guys, so that's the Easter lily. It's pretty basic, pretty simple. Okay, 
So what I'm also going to do, I'm going to put that aside. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to show you how to go about creating the clothes lily. Because as you know, in some of the vase, it's clothes. It's pretty much cut and dry and simple. So it's going to be the same case scenario. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting out another set, which is a set of six. There's a way for you to fold it to cut them, but I wanted mine to be bigger, so I didn't fold them at all. But you're able to cut um, at least two leaves on top. Okay, hold on just one second. Okay, so I'm bringing you down. So here we go. So again, you're gonna take and you're gonna fold it in half. And that's just to give it that little dent that is inside the lily. There's a dent on the flower. Okay. And then, same thing, put the glue on the bottom. Now, when they're closed, they don't have to be so perfect. I mean, you know, they're going to be closed. Nobody's going to be able to see them anyway. It's pretty much like just they're balled up, closed, closed. All right. So you have two and two. I mean, one and one makes two. And you're going to just take some little scrap pieces of paper from what you have, and you're going to bold it up, bold it up. Okay, you'll just insert it, put some glue, just some glue there, put it inside. Roll. Roll, and then you're going to put this on top like before. I'm kind of rushing a little bit. I'm a little bit tired just from all the stuff I've been doing. Running here, running there, doing this, doing that. So this is how it looks. So you're going to smash the bottom end of it, mash it in. So you can, that needs to be small for you to put the, um, so you see how it's looking? So you're just basically going to. basically going to bring it up and squeeze it and that's it I know that looks weird but that's it that's all you do for the closed bulb one that is simple and easy okay so let me seal it together with glue make sure the little pieces stay in place and then I'll put the stem on it and let you see what this one looks like this one it was a little bit quicker than the one I did for the rose. Only because I did it step by step by step like that and kind of like trying not to be here all day. Okay. So that's pretty much it. All right, I know it looks like nothing, but that's how it looks. 
<laughs> if you look, Google it and look at the clothes lilies, that's, this is exactly how they look. Now, what we're going to do, let me um, kind of glue the tips so they'll stay in place. Because I am going to use this for my um, flower arrangement once I, once I finish making them all. Okay. All right, one more little piece and that should do it. Okay, so that's it. All right, so now all this glue on my fingers. All right, so same, same situation, same thing, but I want this one to really be tall in my vase. So I'm just gonna bend the end just a little bit, the little curve at the end a little curve and I'm going to put glue in and then place inside all right so the next thing I'm gonna let me seal it to make sure it doesn't come out so the next thing I'm going to do is just take the old scraps of paper. I don't want that to stick to the table. That's why I was reluctant about putting it down. So I'm just going to take the old scraps of pieces of paper and wrap around just like I initially did before with the other one. Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like. And this is the least one that we look at. Okay. All right, so give me just one moment. Let me get started on making my bouquet. And once I make the bouquet, I will show you the display. Thank you for spending so much time with me today and I'll catch you in a minute. Peace. Happy Easter, everyone. This is the end of my vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and please don't forget to leave your comments down below. And until next time, guys, I will catch you on the next go. Peace. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there.